What's up guys, it's the Amit Main and today I have a great video for you and it's actually how to learn how to code. And basically you need to go to a website, it's a free website, you make a free account and you start learning how to code. It's called codecademy.com, I'll have the link down below and uh, I'm not uh, of course sponsored to do this uh, video, it's just uh, I just like it and I wanted it to show it to you. So uh, you need to go to this website codecademy.com, make an account. So it's uh, probably gonna be somewhere right here. You're gonna be sign up or s yeah, sign up. If you have an account, sign in. I'm in my account right now. So uh, to start learning for free, you need to go on to learn tab on the top of the page, and you have the tracks around here. You have web fundamentals, which is HTML and CSS. You have PHP, which is again to create websites and dynamic web pages. Yeah, jQuery, manipulate HTML, CSS, web animations, interactive websites, JavaScript, which is a really um, useful code uh, language to learn. It's program basics, develop JavaScript apps, and build games. That sounds cool. Projects, uh, I really don't know what's this, but yeah, it's uh, build web applications, combine HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, share projects. And I'm learning Python right now, which is programming basics, all purpose language, and dynamic programming. And I must admit, it's pretty easy. So, uh, next we have Ruby, Ruby, anyway, anyhow. Um, and uh, Ruby fundamentals, beautiful syntax, rapid photo photo typing. Uh, yeah, f sorry, prototyping. Sorry about that. And APIs, which is pull in, in outside data, send messages, and more powerful apps. And you can have uh, more and more courses. Explore our non-track content, which is made by people, which is in the uh, teach section. So you could you could also teach someone how to code, but we're here to learn right now. So I'm learning Python. I'm gonna show you how what you do in Python. I suggest you either starting with Python, JavaScript, or Web Fundamentals, or PHP, uh, or even Ruby, Ruby. Yeah, anything you want to do. Actually, there are no limitations. You learn how to code from the very beginning of the language. You don't need to have any background um, in uh, programming, coding. So uh, in Python, I'm gonna show you how it looks like. <clears throat> how the website looks like so um, on review course uh, course um, on my project the pig Latin project uh, which converts words and you actually learn how to do that it seems easy but it's complicated if you don't know how to code um, for you those who know how to code then uh, okay I'm not talking to you guys because <laughs> yeah this may seem a piece of cake for you but yeah when you learn how to go yeah, at first it's difficult, then once you uh, catch up to the uh, different um, things you can do on this, I mean, yeah, it's a whole different um, video for that. So basically, this is what I wrote myself, nothing, um, at first you start, uh, the website writes the code for you, actually some uh, course uh, writers, for example, this one, Kate Lockwood, so yeah, thank you very much for that. and. Uh, this is a code I written so it converts words into pig Latin. Uh, basically, when you have a vowel, uh, put the uh, a at the, at the back of the word and gives you out the output. And if you have a consonant, then um, it replaces the first letter, puts it at the back of the word, and uh, and then adds the a again to have a word. So if I click on run right now, enter word, um, hello, and. So if I click on that, it's Elohe. So that's it. That's it. So let's close that. Um, you can rate this, of course. Uh, let's put another word. Um, oh, um, Apple. <laughs> Apple. 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 That's it. And if you put an invalid word, uh, for example, um, this thing, it says empty, which is a number. That's why it does not. So. It also converts um, high um, uppercase letters into lowercase. So, yep. You saw that it's just put that. I mean, it's, a, it's a random letters, but it works. So, it's a small program to convert words. It's actually not that easy to 
to be it looks easy it's not when you start doing it but uh, once you get the um, how once you get it how it works I mean yeah it's pretty straightforward so it's a great website they teach you um, um, okay I'll go back uh, as you can see right here uh, also has the steps it starts with this you have some information here it shows you step by step you really don't have to have any background in coding it teaches you everything also have hints if you're stuck and so that's pretty cool as well so in the next section is teach so I'm not gonna go into it, um, a deep conversation about that but it's just you can teach you can create your own lessons and tracks and teach others how to code and then it's groups so um, you can join groups I mean the Python newbies as I said before and it's really easy to join groups for example um, you can also create your own group if you want to and uh, you just join groups by clicking them going into the group and uh, clicking on join group right there so if I want to join that I would so there is um you get points when you answer cor uh, correct scores, uh, correct um, questions. So I have 81 total points. That's not a lot. Okay, I've just started doing that. So uh, there's a streak. Uh, how many days in a row you get into the website and do an exercise? Uh, for example, I have a one day streak because I didn't get in yesterday. And I have uh, zero points today because I uh, didn't complete any exercise today. But I will, of course and you can monitor all your, your stuff right here uh, your progress and that's basically it. ah yeah something very important uh, you, ha you also have forums where you can ask questions and that's really helpful because when you're stuck somewhere you can actually go ahead and um, ask them how to what they are doing wrong show them your code and see what's wrong and fix that so that's really helpful. You can ask any questions in the group or in the forum itself. So, for example, if I go right there, if I go to question and answer forum, uh, you can see people uh, questioning and answer. So, uh, the first thing is variables and data. I don't know my browser stack. So, yeah. Uh, for example, math operations, 41 questions. 97 answers, variables and data types, 125 uh, questions, 30, 332 answers, so it's uh, with sections, and here are the questions, you can see other people's questions, and yeah, find your problem and solve it. So, that was it guys, thank you very much for watching, I uh, hope you enjoyed it, hope you also liked the new intro, tell me about that in the comments below, and tell me what else you want to see. So that was it, thank you very much, uh, comment, rate and subscribe and peace.